Donald, What's thanks up? for coming in, calling yeah. in tonight. Hi, how are you? You're uh, down in Naples. You were at ground zero. That, uh, when Hurricane Ian came, I got a couple questions for you. I'm really curious. Uh, I, I'm looking at the damage. I can't. I, I used to travel down in that area. I know that area very well. Uh, Fort Myers Beach, Sanibel, Pine Island. Those areas got hit with Category 4 uh, winds with flooding. And I, I'm watching some of the footage. I, can't, I, I don't even recognize those neighborhoods. How badly were you guys hit down in Naples? We were hit 18 foot water surge. Um, right, like right in your neighborhood? Yeah, there was boats on the streets, literally boats taking people because there was, everyone was trapped. You know, it wasn't expected to come, you know, so just it was a crazy turn in the shift of the eye, but uh, it was it's devastating. You know, places that I'd go to every day and have memories, but you know, we're strong. Uh, we're gonna it's gonna take some time to build up, but um, you know, just seeing how much people are um, impacting one another and helping each other, I was like the strongest bond. But we'll get through it, just uh, one step at a time. But it is sad, it's devastating, but also there's light in the way, and uh, and you know, things are gonna be we're gonna grow even stronger. Yeah. A lot of damage, though. Yeah. It is exactly. What yeah, my my heart goes out. Like boats on the street and cars, like flipped and uh, floods, like on the streets, looking like rivers. That's unbelievable. My my heart goes out to anybody who's watching tonight who has family, friends, or, or any knows anybody down there. I know thousands have been uh, displaced uh, the damage is unbelievable like we're talking about 50 billion dollars of damage i think in lee county i think lee county got hit with with uh, the most damage was in lee are you in lee county is that uh, or you've been south of collier county so okay you're just lee, a bit Charlotte, south. Collier yeah county, and, um, the damage and still just is you don't you can't recognize any place you go no, and it's we, it's devastating we like to definitely pray for the people down there today. And uh, are the churches uh, down there? Are they still? Uh, are they picking up some of the the slack? Are they helping with some of the some oh, of the? Oh yeah, the churches are amazing. We actually had a service right less than like 24 hours, and there was you know it was it was interesting because like there was no electricity, no sewer, so you couldn't really sewer, so you couldn't really go to the bathroom no AC, but, you know, everyone still attended and, you know, just had each, was caring for each yeah. other, looking at the Lord and, you know, praying. And um, so that was really powerful because, you know, everything was closed. I mean, yeah. not, and for, week, for weeks and still we, some people don't have power. I just got power and in internet okay, just you're recently. Done, uh, but a lot of people are still... Um, without power and electricity and just makes you appreciate the little things like yeah. water yeah. When, yeah. or yes. an AC um, yes. that we take for granted. Yeah, you know, the, the Bible says, do not despise the day of small things. You know, and um, if you sometimes wait to give thanks the big things, but so many of the small things just slip by. And uh, Donna, we're so thankful to the call. And I want to—is is there is there anything specifically you want us to pray for? I'm going to ask uh, Brother Sean to pray for you. And, and uh, is there is there anything that you want to you want to ask prayer for tonight? Or? Uh, pray for the families and, and people who are still dealing with you know this. Uh, just the loss and damages and yeah. you know to be able to overcome this and you know and kind of become closer to the Lord and so I'm just praying that people are are still being positive and although with the situations but um, just in, in good spirit yeah. still and so I pray for that yeah uh, and I, that I wanna, things will get I, I, people I, I, will be yeah, yeah sorry as Christians we know we we we'd love to say that, that things are getting better, but the Bible says things are not going to get better.
And mm. there's a, this is just the beginning, the Bible says, of birth pangs. As a matter of fact, there's something called the Great Tribulation. The Bible talks about it, it, is, a, it is a zillion times worse than this, what we're seeing. So, you know, we, one thing we want to pray for is that, especially as Christians, that, that people who, have, who don't know the Lord will wake up. This will be a wake-up call for them to turn to Jesus Christ turn to Jesus Christ and be saved because, you know, things are going to get much worse. And we can certainly see what's happening, what's happening to the planet because the Bible says in Romans, it says right now, it says the creation itself, it's, it's, itself is groaning, groaning, waiting to be yeah. released, uh, you know, from, the, from the, all the damage and decay that has happened. So, but we know it's going to get, it's not going to get worse. We wish could say it's going to get better and everything's going to become wonderful no it's going to get worse of course uh, yes yes no yeah. that you're I, I totally agree and thank you and yeah that, such a fan of the show so yeah. thank you so, so much so and that, that's that's what prayers as well yeah that's why I pray. so but let me ask sean to just pray yeah, th th yeah. Th thanks for giving us that that report and uh, just before i pray i've I'm, you know i've i've seen uh uh the causeway between sanibel island and fort myers was was, was destroyed i used to drive on that road so I've seen the neighbor, the, the footage of the neighborhoods in uh, Fort Myers. So uh, I'm just going to pray for everyone down there right now. Heavenly Father, we just pray for the, the people in South Florida and Lee County, especially where businesses and, and, and homes were destroyed and roads washed out. Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would and people, the people mourning now or grieving the loss of life. Father, I just pray that you would be close to the brokenhearted, those who lost people in this hurricane, those who've lost homes, those who uh, were, not, were not insured. Father, I just pray you'll make provision for those people. And Lord, you, you, you would uh, come alongside people in South Florida and, uh, and, and build up that community again. And people would come to know you as, as, as Lord and Savior. They would realize that the things of this world can, can, can be, the, the riches of this world can be, can be washed away in a moment. And, but uh, our soul is is, is for eternity. So I just pray for those people. We thank you for uh, DJ for calling in. I pray you'll bless him also. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, Donald. Uh, thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. Thanks, thank DJ. For Thanks for calling. I really appreciate the update. And thank you so much for letting me speak. I have a great night. Thank you. You too. Okay, you too. we'll talk okay. again soon. Thanks, DJ. Bye-bye. Yes. Uh, Bye-bye. Take care. Okay. Yeah, so and, uh, yeah just devastation. Yeah, I've been... Have you been watching? You, it's hard not to see. Yeah, yeah. I uh, oh yeah. You know, it just devastating.